Hi, in this video, I want to show the Klangstrom sheep board with a practical demonstration. Start introducing the Klangstrom project. This is the third board from the Klangstrom series. It is different in a way that it has a screen. It has only two encoders. The other ones used to have three. It has 16 programmable LEDs, a series of GPIO pins and other peripheral pins on the back. It has a programmer port, which I'll show in a second. Three buttons for resetting and, and booting and programming the board. It has an SD card reader. I've already inserted a small micro SD here. This is the audio codec. Here are two serial ports that allow the board to communicate with other boards or other serial enabled devices. Here's a USB host port. Uh, through which you can connect computer mouses or keyboards or other USB devices, headphone and microphone jack, stereo input and stereo output jack. This is the USB device port. So via this port, you can connect the Klangstrom board as a device, for example, to a computer to, for example, program it, or the board can also mimic to be a computer mouse or computer keyboard or a MIDI device. The heart of the whole board is this processor here, which is a STM32743. It has a reasonable amount of RAM and it's quite fast. It's 480 megahertz. So these are the technical specs of this board. And now I just basically want to demonstrate it. The board is powered via USB. So I'll just connect a power bank and then the screen turns on. I've already uploaded a sketch or application onto the board via the Arduino environment, which basically just plays a sound. And to make this audible, I just connect um, a speaker to the board. And now when I press the button, it basically just triggers an envelope connected to an oscillator. So it basically plays a single simple sound. So this is one of the very first examples that is, um, just shows how this board works. And now I want to demonstrate uh, one other thing, and that is um, how to program this. Again, like there will be videos later in the series uh, in much more detail, but here just to illustrate how it works. So here's the a programmer. I'm using right now a um, ST-Link programming device, which has this 14 pin connector. It's very handy. It's on the one hand for programming, and on the other hand, there's a serial port integrated for debugging which is really handy. I've connected the programmer to the board and then I'll let me just grab my keyboard and I've prepared some Arduino sketches. And again, like I will demonstrate this in much greater detail in a later video. I'm uploading a application, which is a, an audio file player. So here this makes use of the screen, which you might be able to see. So what it did now, when it started, it read all the available files on the SD card here, shows them here in a list. So there are four WAV files on it. I'm going to select one by pressing the button. And then it starts playing it. The, the right encoder I've programmed so that it actually allows to either control the volume. It's very simple. If I turn up the volume too much, then it just starts distorting. It's really just a yeah, demonstration. And if I press the button, then it toggles to changing the speed. You can also pick a different sample. So whenever I, whenever I press the button, it uh, reloads or loads another wave file from the SD card. Lastly, I'm going to show one other application which I've programmed this is part of the weekend project series this is basically like an extension of this audio player 
in a way that it also reads the uh, SD card when you start the board after uploading. Here on the right, you see there's the four available files. I'm just gonna pick this one here. And once I started the application, it, it uh, creates four tracks. Each track plays the same sample and I can now change the speed and the in and out points of the sample. With the encoders, I can change the in and the out points. Right now I'm on, on track one, I'm on track two. I press the button and then I can, now I can change the speed. It's super annoying in a nice way. Can also play it backwards. It's just a crazy little like sound multi-track sound generator thing. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the demonstration. I don't know if you've noticed, maybe also worth mentioning. So there's the display. It's part of the display library. It has a few like predefined fonts. There's also a font editor in which you can create your own bitmap file. But I also started creating this library of widgets. So for example, here on the top, you see the, see on the top here, it shows the, the sounds that are played. Here, this is also like another widget that can be reused, which shows the WAV file, in this case, sample data, in this case, loaded from a WAV file. So if I load this, you can see it's slightly a little bit more complex. It's pretty much just an overview. This was the, a quick demonstration to, to just show a few things that the board can do. It's really made to easily develop all your applications on a signal processing level. There are also a lot of effects already that can be used or applied to sounds. There's a few features that also allow dealing with samples, although samples is a bit tricky sometimes on these microcontrollers because they don't have so much memory. And then there's also a few things that are concerned with events that actually allow to create generative composition. And in the next videos, I'm gonna go into much more details, show how to program the board show how to use existing modules and features and components, how to develop your own components, but also applications in general.